Hey guys, it's Techno Tiger here. So today I am bringing you guys the third day of Inktober. But this is my second piece of art, so it's kind of mixed up. I don't know. But yeah, today is the third day of Inktober. Um, sorry about the little bit of a late upload. Um, homework, school stuff. Nobody likes homework. Um, so like like most of my pieces this month, this one is Halloween themed. Um, there are going to be a couple of pieces of art that I'm going to upload during this month that aren't going to be Halloween related, but that's okay, because I have them scheduled, so no big deal, right? Um, so in this piece of art, I am making um, a girl in the woods, yeah, and she's being followed by a creature. Um, if you guys know what that creature is, once you see it, then comment down below. I didn't do a very good job of recreating it, but I did my best. That's what counts. Um, so, right now I'm just sketching out the girl. Um, not too much going on. Um, right about here I decided to, um, input the face lines, that's what I call them. Um, just to kind of plan out the face. And I kind of wanted to make... The one arm bigger than the other to make it seem like she was closer to one part of the picture area thing. I don't know if that worked out. I don't know. You guys let me know if you think it looks good. Um, but yeah. So there's the creature that's following her. So if you guys know what that is, then comment down below. Um, yeah. Um, I didn't like the eyes at first, so I decided to retry them because... They just looked weird to me, so I kept doing them over and over until I got the way, got them the way I wanted to, and I liked the way they turned out at the end. Um, that's about it for the sketching process. Um, yeah, I don't really know, or nothing really inspired this piece for me. It was just kind of like an idea for Halloween. Um, right here, if you look at the eyes. <laughs> Um, I wasn't paying attention, so I made the eyes, like, all googly eyes, like, one's facing one way and the other's facing another. And it looks really weird, but I'll, I end up fixing it in the end. Um, so yeah, the creature is looking at her from behind a tree, because that's a little bit creepy, and I mean, it's Halloween-themed, so... I just thought it would be a good kind of theme for this picture. Um... Yeah. Um, so, in my haul video, um, I mentioned, like, the new markers I got, and I implemented those as much as I could, like, throughout the picture. Like, I used my E33, um, for the hair. Um, but that's a little bit, uh, farther into the picture. Uh, right now I'm just outlining the hair and the actual girl. Um... And then I decided to do this really cool effect with the whole picture at the end. And I think it looked pretty cool, and I like the way it turned out. But, once again, I'm like skipping ahead. But, just giving you guys a kind of overview of the picture. Um, so those eyes, by the way, are supposed to be like an owl or something. I, I don't know exactly what I was going for with that. But, I, I like... Oh, yeah, right here I forgot to outline the eyes with my Micron. Uh, so I was like, ah, I was panicking at first because I was like, wait, I didn't mean to do that. But I just kind of sketched them in, or not sketched, but I filled them in as I kind of thought they would look. So that kind of worked out. Uh, right here, I know um, there's not too much going on because I was kind of creating my plan for the colors. Um, like the hair, I decided to do. E33, and then for the dark spots, um, E37. And at first, I was going to go in with E43, I believe, just to give that medium kind of shade, but it gave a kind of weird effect on the paper. I didn't like it. So I just went over that with the E33, and just in other little places to kind of give a um, not-so-two-dimensional look to it. Um... And then I just went back over with my E33 to kind of make that blending softer. Um, 
I think that's it for the hair. And I think I moved on to the skin now. Um, I used my E93 and 95. Um, that's a good little blending group for skin. Oop, sorry about that. I didn't mean to bring the thing out of frame. But um, as most of these pictures are probably going to be, they're probably going to be at night. So I was like, okay, so this is at night. So her skin is probably going to look a little bit darker. So I kind of gradually filled in with darker colors to the left of her face. Um, that way the light would be look like it's coming from the uh, right side. Uh, so for the shirt, whatever, dress, blouse, whatever you want to call it, I used a base of V15. And I went over that um, for the darker part of it in V17, I believe. And I like the way that kind of gradient shade effect or came out. Um, yeah. Um, looking at it right now, I feel like I could have done her neck area a little bit better than I did. And right here, I made a little bit of a mess with the tree. Um, I wasn't being like trying to be exactly precise and neat. Just kind of trying to get the general colors down and... um. I did a little, get a little bit of the color on the creature's face, um, so I did go back in with my colorless blender just to kind of get that color out of the face. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I totally forgot to color in the ear until the end, so I had to do that really quick when I was kind of going through it, just kind of reviewing how it looked. Um, so I don't have a black color for like a marker so I just went with in with my B29 and then I went over that with my E37 just to kind of make it look darker. Uh, so here I began to put in the kind of effect that I was talking about. Um, like it's kind of like a circle gradually getting darker as you go out just to kind of bring the focus into like the expression on the girl's face and just kind of like not so much on the outside, but kind of making you focus on the inside of the picture and what's going on. Um, and then after that, I just kind of went in and shaded it all. Um, I did forget to go back in with my jelly roll pen, but that's okay because I still really like the way it turned out. Um, yeah, and I just, after that, like I said, just blended it out. Um, and then somewhere around here, I decided to go ahead and color in the eyes in the back, like inside the trunk of the tree. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned it, I probably did, but those are supposed to be like owl eyes, kind of like looking at her, so I colored those in yellow. Uh, yeah, and then I colored her eyes in last with my B23 and B29. So, yeah, that's about it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.